March and April are, are the windiest months of the year here in Charlotte. In this week's Weather IQ, meteorologist Chris Mulcahy is answering a simple question. What causes wind? Wind can be pleasant, where a nice breeze can really enhance the day. However, it can also be treacherous. But how does it form? Let's raise that Weather IQ. The best definition for wind is air in motion. The simple answer of how it forms is wind is caused by the changes in pressure, where wind flows from high to low pressure. Let me show you. Here's an example, not to scale, of course. This is high pressure and this is low pressure. The bigger the difference between them, the stronger the winds are gonna be. So if there's only a slight difference between the two, the ball doesn't move all that fast. It's a lighter wind. But if you raise the high pressure, lower the low pressure, this big difference is a big pressure gradient and thus is gonna create a much stronger wind. Wind is nature's attempt to balance the inequalities in air pressure. On a map, areas of pressure are divided by what's called an isobar or lines of constant pressure. The closer these lines are together, the stronger the wind is. So that's why a hurricane has a bunch of these lines expanding from the center. Wind is also controlled by the Coriolis effect or the rotation of the earth and friction. The rotation of the earth deflects the wind and friction such as trees and buildings can slow it down. This is why winds are stronger higher up in the mountains because there's less friction to slow things down. Wind can also form from the sun's energy on a smaller scale. The sun heats the land quicker than water. That air warms and rises. Meanwhile, the colder air from the water moves in to replace it. This causes a wind, also known as a sea breeze. And one more windy note. A wind direction is where the wind is coming from. So a southwest wind is coming from the southwest. So stay breezy, everyone. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte. Easy breezy. If you want to keep boosting your weather IQ, just take out your phone and scan the QR code right there on your screen on the lower right. It will take you to all of our weather IQs. You can watch them on our YouTube page.